After you went to New York and you had this experience with your congregation, tell us what happened then after that. You came, came back home and... Well, you know, we went... Uh, we tried the kind of old-fashioned, like I said, kind of uh, uh, polemics and apologetics, mm -hmm. and maybe for some that may be listening to that that don't understand that, that uh, polemics is, this is why you're wrong, and apologetics, that's why I'm right. Yes, exactly. And, you know, it, we should have <laughs> realized that wouldn't work. I mean, if any conversation you begin with your wife that begins with, here's why you're wrong, and here's why I'm right. Hey, buddy, my house, that wouldn't work. It doesn't work at anybody's house. <laughs> I don't think so. And it's not going to work in this regard either. No. Um, it's, uh, you know, but uh, I think people imagine, I, I, I was shocked. I, I did not know that Mohammed called Jesus the Messiah. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I did not know that, you know, I, you know, the, I, there, there's so many things in there. Again, my fundamental theology has not changed. My understanding of what the Quran teaches has changed dramatically. Yeah. I think we are on a similar path in that the, theologically, I, you know, in terms of thinking the Bible and Jesus, there's nothing mm -hmm. has changed. It's a strategy mm -hmm. for at least I'm speaking for myself. The strategy has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm of how to approach Islam. Like you said, is it polemics or apologetics? You're right and I'm, I'm you're wrong and I'm right and here's why. That You're right, that doesn't get a vote either. You know, in mm -hmm. politics, you can't walk up to a person and tell them how wrong they are and then ask them for their vote. Right. Or tell them how right you are, implying that they're wrong, of mm -hmm. course, and then get their vote. I mean, any idiot politician knows that. You wonder why is it so difficult for uh, American Christians to understand that that approach uh, wouldn't work, as you say, in your own home. It wouldn't work in our context in getting votes. So why would it would it work in getting congregants? Probably yeah. not too too good. Well, we were wrong first in the approach, and we were also wrong in what we perceived uh, um, the Quran to teach. Hmm. You know, so um, it's not just a matter of this is a kind of a cute little trick. Right. You know, right. this right. is. I mean. The, uh, I, I, you know, I, I think uh, it's shocking to most Christians if they can get past some of the 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 semantical word uses to realize that uh, you know if if somebody believes the Quran, they're about uh, they're about ninety percent of what you believe as an evangelical Christian already. <laughs> Say that one more time. That if somebody really believes the Quran, they're about 90% of what you believe as an evangelical Christian already. That's a profound statement, don't you think? It's not only profound, it's true. I mean, it's, right. I mean, it's just... That makes it even better. <laughs> uh, it's just true. And what we haven't been willing to do is, uh, if somebody believes the Quran, they believe that Jesus is the prophet of God. They can't believe the Quran and not believe it. They believe that right. Jesus is a miracle worker. Right. They believe that Jesus is a great teacher. They believe they, they believe that Jesus uh, uh, is the Messiah. They believe that Jesus is a virgin born. Mm -hmm. There are tons of, of fundamental key doctrines that we agree on. Now, the one that we have to have a lot of conversations about is is the nature of who Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is. But though, if, if you get through this conversation, this other conversation becomes a whole lot easier. But we're not, as a, as a uh, we're not often willing to talk about these things first. But if you look at um, the Gospels, Jesus doesn't just walk up on the scene and, and say, "I'm Yahweh." Get used to it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of conversations that go down that road. Uh, even at the very end of the Gospels, you got Thomas going my Lord and my God? You know, most of us would not be willing to walk three years hmm. with someone. Most, most evangelical Christians wouldn't walk three minutes with someone while they're struggling hmm. through some of those issues. And the fact that we as evangelical Christians do not struggle with that issue more is really representative of the fact we don't think deeply enough. Mm -hmm. hmm.